I don't have the best posture in the world, but I'm working on it. And here's a couple exercises I've been doing lately over the last couple months that I've actually found have helped my posture and that I'm gonna to continue to do to help get perfect mid, upper, back and neck posture and how you potentially can too. Now, the first thing I've been doing is what I call the face pull posture press. And I found this about three months ago and I've been doing it probably two, three times a week since. And I really noticed a difference in just being able to hold my upper and mid back and in a better position walking around and just like when I'm sitting and trying to be upright like this, just from doing this exercise alone. And unlike a regular face pull, what this is gonna do is it's gonna put a ton of strain on these tiny mid and upper back muscles that help keep your shoulders in alignment, your, your head and your neck posture in alignment while keeping a ton of strain on the muscles as you do your face pull prostor press reps. And you can really have fun with this and play around with it. Sometimes I use kind of a higher resistance band and do a really tough 10 reps. Otherwise, more often I'll probably take a lighter band to do say 20 reps doing posture presses like this. And I love doing this at the start of my workouts so that my, my shoulders and my upper and mid back are in a better alignment for, for the whole duration of the rest of the workout that I do. And the second thing I've been doing is the, the bioenergetic mid upper back opener and just hanging out in this position. You can, you can really do this anywhere. Like you can do this on the side of your bed or the side of your couch or um, with a foam roller on a bench, which is probably the most extreme, most, most opening version of this at the gym, like, like in this video here. And what you wanna do here is you wanna get into a very arched back position. You know, the more time you spend hanging out this position, the easier it is just to, to hold good posture because it gets you comfortable being in an arched back position, which is kind of an extreme version of, and more excessive than where you want your posture to actually be. But when you have that range, it's easier to just hold regular posture like this. And for like sets and reps for this, I actually like to count the breaths. So I like to do 20 deep belly breaths in this position. And if you've never done this before, that's gonna feel like a freaking eternity. It's probably gonna be a little uncomfortable on your, your upper back and your neck. But try to get used to being in this position because the more time you spend here, the deeper you can get your breaths. Not only is it gonna like oxygenate your body better and potentially give you more energy and better blood flow, it's gonna make your default posture just, just a more corrected and better position. And the third thing I've been doing that kind of accidentally has been helping my posture is neck training. And I'll link a video to my neck training video that I recently posted, but I've been doing this for a couple months now and I found that it's a lot easier just to hold the correct head posture when you have a stronger neck. Like what I've kind of realized in myself is that this kind of ugly head forward posture, it's actually partially due to a lack of strength and endurance in the muscles that hold your head to your body. And if you can strengthen those muscles with the, especially the front and the back neck crunches, it's, it's just easier to hold your head in the right position and with a stronger, healthier, more stable posture for your neck. So yeah, those are the three exercises I've been doing. The face pull posture press, the bioenergetic upper mid back opener hangout and neck training. I would try to do each of these twice a week. If you're hell bent on fixing your posture or at least improving it from where it is, I would try to work all of this in for two to three sets, two to three times a week and see where it takes you. If you wanna check out my video on neck training and a couple exercises you can do for that, check out that one next. Otherwise we'll see you in the next one.